signature says much about our personality, our flair. But for credit and debit cards, they're on the way out. More convenient, it's faster than signing. And I always get questioned that my signature is never the same. <laughs> the reality is, um, in retail now, uh, not all signatures are checked. Where the, the consumer walks in and the sale is done as a, a, a bricks and mortar transaction, I expect we'll see a major reduction in fraud. Do you really think that people are going to forge a signature? Of course, there's dodgy people everywhere. Banks and credit card companies have agreement from competition watchdog the ACCC to cooperate to phase out signatures. But we're already behind many countries. So you've got PIN only in Western Europe, Canada, Japan, Brazil, Mexico, all with significant reductions in the incidence of fraud. The UK did away with signatures in 2006, but there banks were accused of trying to avoid their liability for fraudulent transactions. Here the rules will be similar to those for automatic telemachines. Say for example somebody looks over your shoulder, notes down your PIN and swipes your card and uses it, well clearly the bank will pay. But in a situation where a customer gives you their card and tells you their PIN number and then you use it fraudulently, well clearly the obligation will be on the customer. Obviously the customer's got an obligation to protect their PIN uh, and if they don't do that, then they may end up wearing their losses. Do you reckon anybody else knows your PIN number? My wife. <laughs> Is that safe? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> the changes will apply to more than 20 million credit cards and 36 million debit cards. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.